Dream Scenario is a 2023 film that I finally got around to and got the chance to see. This one has been talked about a lot in the horror community, uh, especially, but in general, uh, having Nicolas Cage in it. It's one of his um, more tame for a Nicolas Cage uh, performance. And it's also in the horror community, but it's one of those like lighter horror films that you almost question if it would fall into the horror category. It's kind of like a Bo is Afraid uh, type deal where you get a lot heavier kind of drama and character study more so than horror. Um, I see some horror sprinkles in this film, but honestly, I wouldn't even consider this a horror film really. Um, but it was really, really well done. I absolutely loved the script and script, sorry, in this one. Um, it is directed by Christopher Borley. I'll put it at the bottom because I'm probably not even pronouncing that correctly. Um, but uh, yeah, something like that. And uh, apparently from what I hear, this director uh, really liked the film Adaptation by Spike Jones and got a lot of inspiration from that film. And I think Nicolas Cage kind of, a lot of people compare, I don't know if Nick Cage does himself, but a lot of people compare his role in Adaptation to this role here, or kind of like they're cousins of each other. I've just heard that comparison made a lot. And basically what we have going on here um, simply is this professor at a university or college um, is living his everyday, you know, very uh, normal middle-aged dude life. And he has a family with two daughters and a wife. And um, all of a sudden, people start dreaming about this guy, and this guy keeps popping up in people's dreams randomly, unexplained, and uh, <laughs> he's just, he's there, like, he, he kind of, he doesn't really do anything. Some people start having horror dreams about him, where he becomes violent, but, um, you know, a lot of times he's just kind of in the dream, kind of like in the background uh, kind of thing. And uh, the story goes from there, and, and it... Um, people start getting annoyed with him people start getting afraid of him uh people start getting um like uh sick and tired of his uh presence essentially and he starts to he, he becomes famous for being in everybody's dreams and then he takes a fall and everybody starts hating him essentially uh and this like there's a lot of emotions when it comes to everybody and the way they react to this guy which is funny because a lot of them start out in fear, but then there's a point in the film too where they start to actually bully him and attack him. And, and I'm, you know, I was watching that and I'm like, because pretty much everybody ends up being afraid of him at one point. And I'm like, well, if you're afraid of him, why would you want to fuck with him? Like a lot of people start to like, you know, vandalize his property and, and start to actually like make videos of him and, and really mess with him like like try to ruin his life kind of thing where a lot of people uh consider this film like a look on cancel culture which it really is but um i was just yeah i was like saying to myself like why is why are people fucking with him if they're afraid of him <laughs> why would you want to fuck with somebody you're afraid of wouldn't you just want to avoid him and like and and not piss him off but it is what it is uh nicholas cage's performance is fantastic he's such a diverse actor and i like how he can really dive into lots of different roles. I recently just watched a film called um, Symp uh, Sympathy for the Devil, I think it was. Yeah, another 2023 film. Vastly different role than, than he plays in this film. Um, there's one scene in particular that I don't... Usually I'll just like smile really big or like laugh to myself in movies but it's not too often that I actually laugh out loud at scenes and there's a scene in this film it's a sex scene and it involves this girl in an apartment in her apartment that just literally made me laugh out loud like I couldn't help myself I just completely laughed and uh it was just it was my it was one of the funniest scenes I've seen in a while, and it was my favorite scene in the film. And obviously, I'm not going to be spoiling anything. Um, but this film takes some crazy directions. Like I said, the script is absolutely amazing. I am I think this is an original screenplay. I haven't looked it up whether it is or not. But uh, it's, it's a funny and smart script, and all the actors in this film, Nicolas Cage included, of course, plays with this script perfectly. And, um, aside from, like, 
I'd say the last 15 to 20 minutes of the film where it gets a little bit more sci-fi and I'll just say that uh, when it comes to the dream stuff, it's kind of understood and figured out. The dreams uh, at this point can be a little bit more controlled. And that that got a little bit uh, tedious for me and, and just um, it, it took my enjoyment down just a slight little bit. Um, I just found it a little bit unnecessary and I didn't, I'd rather it go in a, in a, in a different direction than that direction. Uh, just because it, like I checked out a little bit, it wasn't terrible or anything. I just would have chosen a different direction if I was behind the directing chair kind of thing. For my own personal preference and taste, uh, it, I, I would have, um, I was, I was hoping for something else. I just, it, it started to go in a direction where I'm like, yeah, that's, that's all right, but you know something else might have been a little bit cooler. Um, but it's it's fine. The ending, like the final frame, is is definitely fitting and um, thought-provoking. This film is definitely a discussion kind of film, and it's definitely worth seeing. I'm. It's too bad this one didn't get any Oscar buzz because uh, there's a lot of things, like the editing of the film, the script, obviously. I mean, a screenplay, it, it deserves an award hands down. Uh, Nick Cage deserves an award, but he deserves an award for a lot of things that he picks up. He's uh, he, he dives into everything. That guy can, can dive into any role. He, of course, takes roles that are literally just for a paycheck. We, we all know those films and uh, nothing wrong with that. But then he also knows how to dive into a film that merits more critique and like um, awards buzz and... and uh, critic-friendly films, we'll just say, and he knows how to pick those as well, and this is easily one of them. So um, I really enjoyed this film. I gave it a four and a half. Um, it's one of the best of 2023, and uh, of course it's deserving of all its praise, and it's it's really funny. I, I, I found the humor worked for me. Uh, there's a lot of dark comedy, there's a lot of black comedy, but there's just like comedy in general. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I don't usually laugh out loud too much, but this one definitely made me in certain parts of it. And it's narratives and comments too on on society and, and um, the modern day themes kind of thing worked really well and, and it, it touched on them really well. So uh, overall, I thought this film worked like a charm and uh, I really had a good time with it. So I can strongly recommend watching this one. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great film from 2023 and uh everything that you hear about it is probably true so you'll also know if it's for you or not so if this film i mean you could just watch the trailer and and if it's not for you this film is not going to change your mind on anything but uh definitely watch it if if anything intrigues intrigues you about it it's it's worth a shot so subscribe to morgan film fan if you like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews i'll be back with more soon so stay tuned for those check out what's on the channel already stay tuned for what's coming until next review have a good one. Take care and cheers.